Hello guys, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to show you how a dialog communicate with its host activity or host fragment. So, here we have a button for display the dialog. So, here we have a string array called toppings. We are going to display a dialog with the checkboxes. So, we can create a separate class for the dialog. I name it as my dialog. And this class extends dialog fragment. Override the method called on create dialog. So first we can get the string array. So here I create an array called toppings. Get the array from the strings to XML. Now create some variables for alert dialog builder. Now we can set title for the dialog. Pick your toppings. Now we can add the items using the set multi choice items method as the array. Now specify the click listener. So now we have to save the user selection. For that, here I am going to create a string array called the selection. Now we can add the selection. If the item is selected, in that case, we add that item to the array list called the selection. If the user unselect an item, we have to remove the item from the array. <coughs> so in that case, we have to remove it from the string array. Okay. So now we can specify positive and negative button for the dialog. So here is the positive button. Now specify a negative button. Finally, we have to return <coughs> dialog from this method. So call the create method on the builder object. So now we can display the dialog. So create an object of the dialog fragment class. Now call the show method on it. Okay, so now the dialog is ready. We can check it. So run the project. Okay, now here the project available. So here we have a dialog with the list of items with the checkboxes. Okay, the dialog working fine. So now, uh, here I am going to add a text view to the main activity layout file. We are going to display the user selection using this text view. That means the dialog need to communicate with this main activity. So change the ID of the text view into txt toppings. So in order to establish communication between dialog and activity, we have to use some interface. So here I create some interface inside the dialog fragment class called the topping selection listener. And here I define some abstract method called the on toppings selected with one parameter is a list that contain the user selection. Okay. So now create <coughs> an instance of that interface. So now we can initialize that instance using the on attach method of the fragment so create some variables for activity so convert that one into activity so now we can initialize that <coughs> interface instance so in order to make sure that the activity must implement the method use a like catch block here here it is class cast exception so new class cast exception the activity must implement the interface methods so must implement this interface methods okay so now go to main activity the main activity implement that interface so implement the method so now the fragment can communicate with this method so when user click the positive button, we have to pass the selection to the activity. So now this selection available on this method using this list. So now we can display it on the text view. So create variables for text view. Now initialize the text view. Okay, now we can display the user selection on the text view. So create a variable called the selection. Now retrieve each item from the list. And display it on the text view so selection is equal to selection and add a new line 
and finally display it so text view dot set text and display the items and now we can test it so run the project <coughs> so here the project available so run it so here I made some selection I select all the items so now the item available on the main activity now this now make another selection I remove one item now click OK so now the selection available so this is how a dialog communicate with the is host activity or host fragment thank you for watching see you in the next episode